Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done any kind of makeup tutorial or get ready with me in a really long time and I've pretty much been using the same products for months at this point and I thought that while I was getting ready this morning I would flip on my camera and show you what I've been using because I've really been loving these products. So I just got out of the shower, my hair is still wet, my face is a little bit of a mess but we're just gonna jump into this. So I already washed my face, I didn't put any moisturizer on yet. I've been using the Nivea cream I like this because it is just so incredibly thick. It's like cream cheese almost. Some people probably wouldn't like the consistency, but it has been branded a dupe for the La Mer cream, and I love the La Mer cream. Anytime I get a free sample at Sephora, I always opt for the La Mer cream. <laughs> I just love how it feels on my face, but it's really expensive, so it's not something that I necessarily want to invest in or use on the daily so the Nivea cream is the next best thing. I just rub this in really well. If I have a long day or I'm going to an event or I know we're going to be taking pictures or anything like that I'll usually put a primer on next but most days I like to skip the primer just one less step. So today I'm going to skip it but I am going to grab my concealers and my BB cream. So I've been using the Maybelline Dream BB Pure Cream. This has salicylic acid in it and I swear it has worked wonders for my skin. My sister actually turned me on to it um, back in January or February. It's almost out. I use the shade 120 medium and I just put this on my beauty blender and tap it in all over my face. I did a face mask this morning, the Aztec clay mask. It's like that mask you can find on Amazon. You can find it in like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's like that cult following. I've used it for years. It's a really, really intense mask and I'm not even sure if it's that great of a mask, but I love how it makes my skin feel. It just really like tightens it up, cleans it out. I feel like it, it just helps to empty my pores. Um, but after you leave it on, your face can be really red. So I had to wait a little bit before filming to let that redness die down. Okay, so if you're looking for just a little bit of coverage, this is something you might want to try, especially if you have very sensitive or temperamental skin. They do make a formula. It's the pink one, not the blue one, without the salicylic acid. But I love that it has it. I think it has 30 SPF in it as well. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I've been using the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealers. I really like these. They're very, very light, but they have pretty good coverage. And I'm gonna use this just to cover some of my problem areas. I tend to break out around my chin and mouth. Um, I'm pretty sure that's hormonal breakouts. And then I like to cover my melasma up here. But I find that this covers just perfectly. And some days I'll just use the concealer. I'll skip the BB cream totally and just opt for a little concealer and it gets the job done. But I've been trying to reduce all of my beauty routines. Just figure out how to make my hair life easier, my skin life easier, my makeup life easier. Because it's just very clear that we don't have as much time as we used to. This guy's stubborn. I have this like monster on my cheek. And I'll show you how I better cover that. Sometimes I'll skip the under eye concealer. I haven't been doing it as much lately, but I'm gonna do just a little bit today. Oh, sorry, that last one was shade 25. This is shade 11, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of this like under here and under here. And then I always like to go between my brows, on my chin, and down my nose. So we're just gonna blend that in. It's always so hard to get the nose, but. From here, especially if I need to continue to cover some blemishes, I go in with a powder. This one's from Joa. It's the Blur Perfection Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it all over my face. Just a light layer. And then we're gonna go back in with the 25 and cover that pimple again. Sometimes once you have the powder on, it just really helps the coverage. Old. And that's what we need to do. It's like one of those monster pimples where like nothing's in it. It just keeps growing. <laughs> so I'm trying not to touch it. I tried to poke it last night just to see if anything would come out. And then I put a pimple patch on, but no go. All right, let's move on to bronzer. I've actually been loving this Wet n Wild bronzer. It's in the shade 742B Sunset Striptease and it's almost empty. Like there's a lot of pan going on here, but 
I'm trying to use it till the end. It's like another thing I'm really into lately is just using up the beauty products that I have before bringing in new ones. I don't want to introduce new products and then have a million half open products in my makeup drawer. I just want to use what I like, use it till the end, and then move on to something new. I've been putting bronzer higher up on my cheeks lately. I saw a tutorial probably last year and it's really just changed the way that I like to apply my bronzer. I feel like I used to put it a little lower, but I like how it looks there. And it looks like I'm naked. I do have the top on. And then if your pimple is still popping, you could do another layer. It's really just layering. The more layers, the easier it is to conceal. So I'm going to do another layer here. There we go. Perfect. It's summer. I like to look like I have a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. So I am going to go in with a blush. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Coral Cloud. And I just put this up on those cheeks and cheekbones, a little on my nose, and just go for... That look. Next is my favorite part, the brows. You know that for years I love this e.l.f. brow pencil, but I recently got this e.l.f. brow pencil, which I think is a dollar more, but it's a micro tip. So it's very, very fine and very precise. And I actually find it a little bit easier to use just to get that perfect brow shape. So I had my eyebrows microbladed in 2019. I think it was like January or February of 2019. And there's still a little bit of pigment left, but for the most part, it's kind of faded and that was always my intention. I wanted to get the microblading done and then kind of let it fade away because I don't know, I just wanted to know that my skin would go back to normal and it pretty much has. Um, so I do fill in my brows now. Luckily I have pretty good brows. They're pretty full, but the shape is a little wonky and I could afford to go to a threader or someone um, just to give them a better, more even shape, um, but I haven't done that in a while, so we're just doing it ourselves. I love getting my eyebrows threaded. That is definitely my like service of choice. Not bad. Um, I always take my really light concealer and dab just a little bit at the beginning of the brow and brush it in so you can get that nice, kind of gradual faded look so the brows don't look too harsh. I have the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pomade. So this is just gonna help keep them in place. And now let's move on to eyes. I have not been wearing much eye makeup at all and I don't miss it. I'm actually just gonna go back in with my bronzer and cover my lid with this to give it just a little warmth, a little depth, but nothing too bold or obvious. Um, I'm just kind of over it. I'm over all the eye makeup. We're going for easy. We're going for easy and we're going for minimal product these days. So the less, the better. I like to drag it under. And then I do like to do a little bit of liner. I haven't found a good felt tip liner uh, that I like lately. I can't even remember what I used to like. So I've just been using a pencil and lightly giving myself a bit of an upper line, just a little, smudge it in, and then a little on the waterline, a little on the high line. That's it. You can tell a little goes a very long way. I'm gonna do the same over here. I know people say that eyeliner tends to close the eye off, but I think it really opens the eye up on me. And now we move into mascara. I'm a huge fan of layering my mascaras. I like to pick two with completely different wands. And lately I've been using the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout and pairing it with the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I'm gonna do the It Cosmetics first. Do my best not to get this all over my eyelid or my face, but just load it up. Go to town with the mascara. So we got one coat of that. Go in with the other. One more coat. Going back to the original. With mascara, it's like the more the merrier. As much as you can afford to apply, that's how much you should apply. And we are pretty much good. I am going to just lightly contour my nose. I use this like uh, eyeshadow brush that I have and I just do a little bit at the bottom, like at the tip. And then just go underneath. 
And then I like to go back with my light concealer, do one more layer up here. There we go. And then I grab a little highlighter. You can use an eyeshadow and I just highlight the tip and the bridge and lightly brush it. And that's really it. This has been my very easy, everyday, go-to makeup look. I'm gonna go style my hair quickly and then come back and show you the lip I've been loving. So I'll see you in a few. All right, my hair is done. I haven't curled it in so long, especially since I dyed it. And I forgot how much I kind of like loose waves. All right, I'm gonna show you what my go-to lip has been lately. And actually that's kind of a lie because the go-to lipstick I've been using, I can't seem to find. I don't know where it is. It was in my purse. I moved it to my laptop bag. I moved it back to my purse. I moved it to another purse. I don't know, but it's it's nowhere to be found. So I picked a second favorite lipstick. Um, but I'm gonna start by lining my lips. I've been using a ColourPop liner. This is in the shade O Snap. It's a great neutral mauve shade. Um, I need more lip liner. I'm trying to find more that are this consistency, like a really creamy crayon. I hate to admit it, but my favorite liners are the KKW Beauty and the Kylie Cosmetics liners. And KKW is currently on pause and Kylie doesn't have the shade I used to love the most. So I'm currently in the market for some new liners. ColourPop is a very close second and I have a feeling that the Makeup by Mario liners are just as good as well. So those are on my to pick up list. But for now, we're gonna use the ColourPop till it's out, which it's almost out. I like to be able to slightly overline my lip. I have pretty small lips. And then I like to go in with a lighter lipstick. So I have been using one of the Laura Mercier lipsticks. I think it was Coral New. It's one like this. Um, no, this is Coral New. Is this it? Maybe it is. I thought this was a different one. Okay, let's see. Which one is lighter? I have an It Cosmetics here too. You know what? No, this is the one I'm gonna go with. All right, so this is Laura Mercier's Coral New. It's just a very light pink, and I like how it complements this lip liner. So, it's like a pinky, peachy, obviously coral shade. It kind of ties the lip together. It creates a little bit of an ombre effect. Nothing too dramatic, but just enough for me. I don't know if you guys remember the NYX Cosmetics Ombre Lip Pencils. Those were my jam. I don't know why they stopped making them, but they were the absolute best, and I so wish I could get my hands on one of them again. One side was a deeper liner, and the other side was a lighter crayon lip, and the combo was just unmatched. I was obsessed with those in like 2016, 2017. I used them exclusively. Now we have to like DIY our own. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. Nothing crazy, but I did want to share a few of those key products I've been loving, mainly the Maybelline BB Cream, the Maybelline Concealers, and Honestly, that Wet n Wild bronzer is pretty good too. I actually had a lot of fun doing my makeup on camera. I should probably try to do it a little more often. I just don't get that creative with my looks. And I feel like that's okay because most people don't get that creative with their looks on a day-to-day -day basis. So every once in a while, it's fun to throw in one of these videos and just share some products that I've been loving. But that is it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And leave me a comment below letting me know if there are any products you have been absolutely loving lately, especially lip liner. Actually, yes, please give me any and all lip liner recommendations. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!